Hello, this is Dilip Pralai from Welltech Networks. IBM recently released their 2022 data breach report. According to that, the average data breach cost has gone up by 13% from 2020, which is at 4.35 million US dollars. This is, they found it from going across the various companies who, who experienced a data breach across the globe and came up with this number. And of course, the highest data breach cost is in the healthcare sector. There are various healthcare companies who got compromised. Their breach cost was more than 10 million. So there are various factors, according to this report, which comes to play in this. One of them is since 2020, remote work has increased a lot and people need to understand that remote work is definitely a risk factor in the data breach. And it was 4.91 million compared to 4.54 million in ransomware and 4.5 million in stolen and compromised credentials for across this, but 4.35 million. So what are the various factors affecting this? One is reputational damage for the business, and there are severe business downtime that increases this cost of, for these organizations. And there are regulations and litigation. There are some companies who got breached and government penalized them, and that increases the cost. And Again, cyber liability insurance or cyber security insurance has been going up in the past few years like crazy. And this also makes the businesses think twice, hey, do I need to go for cyber liability insurance or not? But if you're not taking it, that increases the cost. And organizations are increasingly open to paying ransom rather than doing a backup restore. This is also increasing the cost. But all these factors are based on the insufficient security precautions they are taking. Even if you are a big or small organization, there are a few things which you can take care, like artificial intelligence-based automation tools. This can severely reduce the cost of a data breach. Organizations that can have an incident response plan in place, which should be tested and making sure that that incident response plan works. And if you have implemented zero trust security protocols or security practice into your business, that can reduce the cost and extended incident detection and response, XDR, or managed tendered detection and response. These type of tools can greatly help the organizations to reduce the cost. It is not the size of the business which costs this money or business. You can proportionately reduce the cost by implementing these basic tools. Thank you for watching. <music>